Okay, this is a funny video topic. Why you can't quit hentai, okay? So I'm, I'm targeting this specific kind of pornography simply because recently one of my friends has, you know, really gotten into it. He's never, you know, previously been a weeb, but then out of nowhere, um, like last year, he just went straight from anime, just like, you know, anime, then he went to reading manga. Once you get to reading manga, bro, that's when you know you're pushing deep into the anime shit, right? I mean, I'm speaking from experience. And the next is the, the anime games, the Nekopara and shit. Then after that, I mean, Nekopara is basically, okay, don't even search it up, okay? <laughs> the next stage is, you know, hentai and all that, all that garbage, right? You start becoming attracted to fake characters. And some people uh, like to think this is not a problem at all. Because, you know, you just, you know, you like these anime girls and they're hot and whatever the fuck. I was the same, man. I'm, I'm talking exactly from experience. This is not me talking like, oh yeah, these are the stages you probably might, you probably go through. I've been through all the stages and I've gotten out to a point where I don't like, you know, watch any of it at all. Completely, bro. Easy. I don't even need to think about it. You know, sometimes I do get the urge, but then I realize like, why should I do that? If I do that shit, I'll never, you know, get a girl or whatever the fuck. That's the kind of thing that hentai makes you avoid. That's the biggest, probably the biggest con. It makes you dream about fake girls that you ne you'll never bone in real life, right? Never. That's the hugest, that's the biggest thing. It literally ruins your mental health. You're now attracted to like fake things, right? I'm talking this from full experience. I love that shit, bro. Honestly, I went straight to the deep end, literally untranslated shit, fully in Japanese. The, like video games fully in Japanese from the like you know no one translated it yet it's brand new straight out of Japan the rawest stuff so much fucked up shit I was on that and and now I'm on the other side I I think there's only two ways out, like that occurs there's either that you go into this shit like go into hentai and all that shit and never get out you're 30 years old you're a virgin you beat your dick off every day you're sweaty as fuck you never leave the house there's that way, or well, there's my way, where you just you know, end up getting rid of it all, completely, not even just a little bit. Everything's gone. And you come at the other end smiling, you know? But anyway, I got my friend, right? I used to always tell him two years ago that, oh, you should watch anime, you should watch, um, read manga and stuff. And he's always like, oh, no, I'm not interested in that stuff, right? And then only recently now, I've one year ago, I've been on self-improvement, got rid of video games, anime, all that shit, right? And then now, just out of nowhere, I'm like, oh, so what do you do with your time, man? And he's like, yeah, I watch anime, play video games, look at, you know, at fucking anime games and shit. And the second he said that, I knew, like, exactly, he's going to watch hentai, bro. Of course he does. If you are a weeb, you instantly do it. If you're a weeb and you're a guy... 100% you're fucking on that shit. I know. And anyway, and I did find out, yeah, he does, obviously. Right? Who wouldn't? That shit. This is the thing. It is so good. It is really good. I'm not trying to say, oh, hentai is not bad. It sucks balls. Oh, hentai sucks. The anime girls are so ugly. No. It is literally so good. It is. It's the best possible form of, you know, that kind of entertainment you can possibly get. Because it's fake. You know, they draw them perfectly. They're literally perfect human beings in every way because they, you can't, there's no literally skin on them, bro. They don't have like those, like, you know, markings on their face. They haven't forgot to moisturize their face, bro. Their skin is literally clear as fuck. That's why it is really good. And that's the thing. And now, that's why it's really good. Yeah, sure. Now, I'll give you a tip, some tips. I don't know. I'm just going to make it up on the spot on how you could possibly, you know, get rid of it. Well, step one is completely just get rid of the idea of fantasizing about fake girls. Completely get rid of that shit. Never think about it again. Now, this is going to have to incorporate not watching anime because watching anime, oh, but this anime doesn't have etchy and all the other harm and it doesn't have all the, you know, erotic shit. Well, you're going to have to cut off anyway because even the most child, like chilled, Animes, they still have big ass booty bitches, right? Hey, come on now, Attack on Titan? Is that an edgy? Probably not. 
right? So you got to cut out everything at least for a while, at least like 90 days, okay? It's going to be hard. Look, if you you got to do no fab as well, obviously. And then if you're really into the like deep, very deep end, right? Okay, I'm going to say, now this is fucked up. You're going to have to, you're still going to beat your dick, okay? Because it's not going to, you know, it's going to be a lot harder for you guys to quit. So what you got to do instead is fantasize about real people. I know it's fucking crazy, right? This, I, some people would have told me like, oh yeah, just completely cut it out, go cold turkey, never do it ever again. But it's not, you're stepping, you're going from like hentai, literally, which is like, it's literally the highest form of entertainment. And then you have regular human, you know, stuff. And then you're thinking about it. So you, you, you kind of just want to go down slowly. And I just want to get rid of the, you know, adult entertainment bullshit because if you watch porn, you are a cuck lord. You are literally watching people because you can't do it yourself. You fucking loser, okay? So don't. You're going to go straight from there. You're just going to fantasize. In your mind, you're going to literally think about, oh, you know, big old baby, <laughs> big booty bitch, right? That's all you're going to do. Fant fantasize, that's it. You know? and fantasize that's it maybe for about a month okay that's what you're gonna do that's gonna be your replacement you cannot go on any kind of sites or anything it's completely fantasized and after those 30 days you are now going to slowly cut it you're going to slowly cut it down to oh maybe two times a week oh yeah you know you're gonna slowly cut it down to the point where you don't need that anymore because let me tell you if you do that shit you will not get a go okay basics all right and the main point of you watching it oh but i like watching it is because you want to go easily okay very basic this shit is not fucking complicated you just want to like make up excuses for you to be okay watching okay my posture's been shit because i'm not used to filming in this bit okay but anyway that's that's one tip okay and that's but easily that's the biggest one honestly there's no there's no really other tips i could give you it's going to be hard, man. It's meant to be hard. I came from that fucking shit, man. It is too good. You know, I, I relapsed. I, I I kept on thinking about it. I'm like, oh, man, what if I just, like, you know, search it up, the, the one thing I looked at before. Maybe I just have a look at it and see if I can resist it. And then, no, you couldn't resist it, okay? It's just like that. It's going to be like that. You don't deserve to, oh, 30 days or complete. No, you don't. You, sh you suck right now, bro. You're doing terrible. Of course you're doing terrible. You need to do it slow. You need to level up. And then once you're, you know, past 30 days, I, you're, you're basically level 30 and you're making good progress now. And that's when you can start cutting that shit off. Don't rush it. <laughs> Not really much to say, man. But easily, hentai is, is literally the worst. No, the people that have um, gone through it and passed through it, really, it is like a challenge that shit like to get to get out of i've been um from personal experience i've had that shit ever since i was like maybe 10 years old 12 years old from just watching anime literally probably uh, i'm not even kidding probably the first things i've you know done it to simply because when you're a kid um you know you watch that kind of stuff and then in the animes they have those you know big booty bitches and then just from there it's like a stepping stone then you're like okay Maybe if I search it up on the internet, this this girl from the anime, and then, and then there you go. It fucks you up. But to tell you the good side, the rewards are lay at the end, man. Just like clarity. You're not stuck in this phase anymore. People, your your parents and all these other people around you, they won't support you in that endeavor of quitting that, you know, thing. You, can't even, you probably won't even talk to them about it. It's only up to you. Your friends won't support you because they're all beating their dicks off. And if you want to be a loser, click off this video and go join them. Go beat their, beat your dick off. And, oh, guys, what, what are you guys watching? We're going to report. You go, you go beat your dick with them, okay? I'll tell you, none of my friends do this. You are, you are really special. Like, for you to do this shit, for you to work on yourself and all that, it's really unique. There's not many people doing that. All the, all the rest of people have given in and just like, oh, 
it's okay, you know, every, I beat my dick everywhere. The, the doctor's on the internet says it's fine, so I beat my dick, it's all right. Look, you're really unique to go on this path, okay? And if you want to be a loser, the door's right there. I don't give a fuck. You go leave and take the door, bro. You go take that door and be a fucking sissy loser. I don't want you part of my team. But if you're willing to step up, man, look, jo join, join the rest of us, man. On self improvement, man. Or just just take the fucking door, man. You're not strong enough for this. It's it's the kind of man you are, man. If you if you're if you have an, enough courage to take this on, then yeah, welcome, welcome aboard, man. I wish you the best of luck. But if you don't even you you even just starting like you know listening to this and you're like. Oh man, this guy's fucking talking shit. This guy's talking shit, man. He doesn't understand. This shit is so good. Bro, you don't... I've been, bro, untranslated. Head type, bro. Untranslated. I'm not even going to say the, the... I'm going to have to censor the word. But it starts with an E, okay? And ends with a rogue, okay? I know this shit. Untranslated games, okay? Games full of... Right? I know this shit. But I took the courage to fucking do, get rid of this shit. And you don't... There, there's no fucking pill I'm going to give you for you to stop doing this shit. Look, if you want to be sissy loser, the door's right there, man. Just fucking take the door. Be a sissy loser like everyone else. Bye, okay? Enjoy your fucking fat wife in the future, okay? You deserve the fat wife you're going to get. Like... Uh, <laughs> You deserve the fat wife. You're going to get, oh, you fat shame me, my wife. Fuck your wife, bro. She doesn't exercise or eat well like you do. So you don't deserve anything better. If you want, if you want a good wife, you look, you look at least half decent, okay? You look the best you can possibly so that your wife can look the best she can possibly. The same thing. If you're a fat ass, you don't deserve some fucking big booty bitch, bro. You're a fat ass, ugly cunt, bro. That's who you deserve. Anyway, I'm getting too rammed. I'm going to record another one of these videos. I'm feeling it today, motherfucker. Anyway, guys, subscribe. Love you guys. The ones that actually do this shit. Subscribe, like the video. Peace out, bro. Oh, yeah, stay strong.